unusual no bake cracker brownies. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo facts. Twelve. Hello everyone. To make this recipe, you'll need a double boiler, also called a baymati. Basically, it's a pot that has some simmering water in it. You add another pot over top and that way it allows you to have some indirect heat. The water in that bottom pot is not touching the pot that's on top. To this we're going to add three quarters of a cup of vegetable shortening. If you can't find vegetable shortening where you live, you can try some unsalted butter. I also added one cup of white granulated sugar. I stirred this around until the shortening was melted and some of that sugar was dissolved. Remove it from the heat and then add in two eggs, one at a time, stirring after each addition. And then you're also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once that's stirred in, you're gonna put it back on the heat and you're gonna to continue to cook over that simmering water until it's thickened slightly. And as you can see, the color will have changed. Now add in two cups of miniature marshmallows and stir those around until they are dissolved or just about dissolved. And then stir in two and one half cups of crushed graham crackers and a quarter cup of peanuts that have been chopped fine. Stir that together until you get a nice smooth paste like batter. Then you're going to spoon or pour this into a prepared 8 by 11 or 9 inch square baking dish that's been greased. Put it in there and spread it around and pat it down until it's nice and smooth and even. Now for the topping, we need one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one quarter cup of peanut butter. Now you can melt this together in the microwave for about 45 seconds or so, or you can melt it in that same double boiler we used in the previous recipe. Either way, you need to melt those chocolate chips and that peanut butter together, stir it around until it's nice and smooth, and then pour it over the cracker layer. Spread it until it is even, and then refrigerate until firm, several hours or overnight. Once they are chilled, you can cut them into squares and serve. These bars get quite soft at room temperature, so I suggest you keep them in the refrigerator. Now, why these are called brownies, I'm not sure. They certainly don't look or taste like a traditional brownie, but they do have a very moist kind of a texture to them, so maybe that's where that comes from. The chocolate peanut butter and those graham crackers go really good together and it's something that's actually quite unusual and very delicious. Because they're called brownies, I've included them into my brownie playlist anyway. So if you're looking for other great recipes, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the about section below. Thanks for watching.